Terror alert. All big businesses should be on red alert, especially Comedy Central. Hi, Comedy Central. I'm putting you on high alert because today I opened the paper. It said they gave Dave Chappelle a deal worth $50 million. That's great for Dave. They forgot one thing. My show's contract is going to be up soon. I want $50 million. I'll close this show down. You think I'm playing, Doug? <laughs> Lauren, you think it's a joke? You both know me for many years. You know I need money. Let me put it in another language that you don't understand from all phone calls that you haven't been giving me. Mucho dinero para mí. Oh, well. Well, Colin, we don't need your show. Your ratings are so-so. What? No, no. Say what you said again about my ratings. They were so-so? So-so-so. What does that mean? That you're not going to cough up my money? Do you think I won't play the race card? I'm not afraid to play the race card. You know that. You take care of your people first, the white people, me. If you don't, now, if you don't, 1130 in two weeks, you'll have a reunion of cross balls. <laughs> Say that. They didn't say that, they implied it. God damn. <laughs> now, terror threat of levels were raised Sunday when Tom Ridge announced Al Qaeda's plan to attack the financial institutions in New York, New Jersey, and DC. What do you think? I think they're gaslighting us. I what do you mean? You think it's all fake? Yes, I think it's right before the Republican convention. I think they're trying to scare us so that Bush can look good. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They keep, telling us, they, keep, they keep telling us two different things. They're telling us. You know, don't discriminate against Arabs, but make sure you keep your eye on those dirty bastards. You know what I mean? It's true. It's like, you know, they, they give us this high alert, and it's like, the last one, forget that one. That wasn't that high. Right. This one was serious. It's like, but, yeah. what the hell are they is, talking about? The thing about it, okay, like, okay, black folks, we've been on high alert forever. We've always been on high alert. That's the first thing. And so it's like, this is not even for us. We know what to do. We've always watched people. We watch any damn body. That's our thing. High alert. God, can you absorb what he's saying instead of with that stupid look like you're getting ready to expose? It just, it's really what he's saying. Talk is to that, him, brother. Talk to is him. Is that we, we have a street wisdom that we can see things coming that white people don't have. I especially, understand. Especially white women and their husbands. Uh, he went, you they're know dying to bring up that stupid case. Here's what you do, the Lori hacking. Another uh, white man killing our exactly. husband. That's not hacking. What no, is wrong with y'all? But you're dying, oh, wait, God. you're dying to bring it up because you can show the two white crimes of the past year. Like, white two, white two. Shut really? your mouth, you criminal bastard. <laughs> 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 Watch no, your criminal white women on high alert. <laughs> put white women. We are on high alert. alert. Orange alert. We've been on orange alert since 1965. <laughs> damn it, that's <laughs> your cut. So, and another thing, you who, invented the club, car alarms, everything. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. But you know what? There's nothing any of us are gonna be able to do about it. And like, I'm not Steven Seagal. I don't know kung fu and how to, you know, undetonate a bomb on the subway. Right. I mean, I, if something happens, I'm gonna. You scream like a bitch with blood on my face, run out of the subway, and that's gonna so that's what I'm gonna why, do. Why, I agree with you. Why don't we stay on high alert? Why is it this back and forth stuff? Why? They're trying to scare us. That's all they're trying to weaken us so that they can control who's us. Who's like everybody? Black guy. So, <laughs> we, who, who's everybody? That's, that's what I'm saying. My, my spider sense scared. has never failed. I'm, I'm not scared. Spice. You ever get that yeah, feeling? Always. Here's the feeling, oh, here's the feeling white people scared. never get. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't go over there. Black people get that feeling and we act on it. We're not gonna, if we, look it, we didn't even have to know about Newark. We're gonna go, wait a minute, this don't fit. Newark don't feel right today. I'm going back home, which is what white people don't do. It's true. You guys are well known for having to be ca very careful because of the danger committed against you by whites as opposed to the other way around. Uh, yes! Uh, of course we do! It's not 1955! <laughs> I'm scared! I can't take the wine at this country <laughs> Listen, uh, listen, I'm, I'm scared to marry a white man because... <laughs> oh my... Exactly! That's all you got, silly! That's Why yeah, can't yeah. you admit that? Your people have been on a semi-rampage for 35 years. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. No, no. no, no. Stop. no. Why do we go from Arabs to black right. guys? That's that's not, that's 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 let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because they're too black. No, no, no. No, let me tell you 
Mr. That's Mr. I wrote a bunch of Arab jokes and he wants to get them out. Shut up. Stupid. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I got nothing. All I'm saying is, is that you guys are going to turn there. If it was a... Let me, oh, okay. this, you answer the question. Let me answer it for you, stupid. Go ahead, stupid. No, because we on. know eventually it's going to come around to black folk. And I say, it's going to come around to black folks eventually either way. It's true, exactly. you guys. It starts out with Arabs and it ends on black people. It's true, you guys. Are, it's true, you guys we are always it. victimized. It's yes. amazing. Yes. Yes. Be scared. yes, we want white people to be scared yes. of 9 11. You guys are always victimized. We want y'all to be nervous. Stop yeah. acting like it's 1950. We want y'all to have. It. You know, we want, we want y'all to have blood pressure problems like us. That's, That's what right. we want, goddamn. Stop drinking grape exactly. juice. Exactly. You, that. you won't be satisfied until white people hate themselves as much as you hate yourself, thanks to us. Yes, thank you. He's trying to blame us. I blood pressure on us. No, Shut no, up, no, I said something no, profound. Grapes, grapes, what was your profound that? statement? I'm not going to say it again. It's not going to be profound. <laughs> I, I didn't even get that. Whatever the yeah, hell he said. It was a good one. He got it. I, I doesn't even know so what? 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 <laughs> say something. I was saying, he's, he's saying that we, it's our fault that they have high blood pressure. <laughs> I didn't say he's that. He's the stupid. one that drinks grape juice and Fritos and everything all the time. I never had grape soda the first time, stupid. Grape soda was funny the first time. I know what happened. I'm on the black guy's side now. Forget it. <laughs> Sue, tell him what would happen if he crossed Dorchester Avenue. In fact, you tell him he what would happen. He would get his ass kicked. I don't want to say <laughs> his black would. people aren't as nervous as y'all. Stop yeah. trying to... But that's what I'm saying. not nervous. You shouldn't Patrice, be nervous. The There's nothing off, you can do. I can kill less. If a bomb went off, Patrice could just climb up a building, so he doesn't have to worry. He could protect himself. Oh, <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> I regret uh, a lot of things I uh, did in my past when I was doing drugs. Uh, one of the uh, main things I regret was uh, I owed uh, people money, and they uh, torched, they lit my mother's my mother's car on fire. They torched and lit my mother's car on fire, and she didn't have a car. And then a week later, or two weeks later, she got a new car, and I was uh, using it in New York, and someone ran into it and smashed the whole side. And I say, look, just give me a hundred dollars and drive away. And I took that hundred dollars and I got high. So I kind of like uh, ruined uh, two of uh, my mother's cars in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, not like being a tough guy with my nice beer. <laughs> The Vatican on Sunday, Saturday, denounced feminism for trying to blur the difference between <laughs> men and women and threatening the institution of the family. They never stop. The what? Pope has a point. These bitches are getting out of hand. I'm telling you. He has one line. That's all he says all the time. I don't even know the Pope saying this. I mean, just so no, I walk up to him and go, "Hey, we want to put the broads back in the kitchen. Is that okay?" I, uh, okay. It was the Pope's friend. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Pope's like, friend. He looks like crap. The Pope. No, it's all related to the church. He knows that the family is going bad. That's what he's thinking about the family. That's right. And of course, women have decided to go on their own and do stuff on their own and forget all about the man. So the Pope is putting them in their place. Because That's right. We, yes. Wait a minute. Yes. 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 If I have yes. one yes. male yes. boo out of our men, you pussies. You this is the. First of all, he forgot, funda the, the left out the one thing, fundamentally, <laughs> men well, don't like women. Mean. We want them to shut up, we want to go to Brazil, we want to have fun. <laughs> and this pussy crowd, every time I hear the crowd go, oh. if I hear a man's yeah. voice go, Shut up. Women step out Wait, all listen, of a sudden. Listen to this, listen but, to women, just listen because, to them. No, all right, first of all, it's not just that the women are becoming men, men are becoming women too. Patrice could get mistaken for Aretha Franklin. Franklin any day nowadays, all right? All right? But on the other side... That's all, that's really... That's really that's you see what I'm saying? That's all she really wanted to do. Now, now it's over. All right, no. shut up. With <laughs> well, your voice, you could be mistaken for calling any day, too. <laughs> Nothing you Why suck. did you do that? You just, you just, you just went hold up for that? No. You just hold no. All the Pope is saying is that men want through the struggle of making the, re, uh, creating the oven, the <laughs> forks, <laughs> the knives, the <laughs> plates, and you bitches don't cook no more. That's what he said. It's really, no, you know what he says? 
is that women get to women no. get to go out and try to get a career, try to be all independent, and and then if it doesn't work out, they can always marry an old rich white guy and be you know the the house. No. No, I can't do that. At yes, 45, I'm not no. going to marry you some rich I, lady. I'm going to be in my mother's basement living off her. No, and what I happens blame. is when Let the Sue woman say one thing. Yes, uh, when the woman steps outside all of a sudden and doesn't hey, boost the guy's ego up every up, single woman. day, then they get needy and insecure. <laughs> it's not, a reflection no. of your insecurity. All we're trying to say, and, and all the Pope is trying to say is, I blame feminists. <laughs> I blame feminists for every damn thing. From the breakup of the Beatles to Ricky Williams retiring, it's all their fault. Now look. <laughs> All right, look, this is our, we should have a whole series of shows on this issue. Yeah. It's like, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. Well, you know. Asking Come on. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I think that Beanie Man, a uh -huh. Jamaican reggae song, sings about killing queers in his lyrics, is currently on a concert tour in the U.S. That's He's already had to cancel a concert in London because of protests. That's Irish accent. What? What did you think about your dialogue? <laughs> what? He shouldn't have, you know what it is, Colin? What? He shouldn't have outright, he shouldn't have came outright and said we should kill all gays. He should have said we should kill <laughs> employees. That way he could have hit it. <laughs> Sweat a yeah, yeah, but you know what? It's reggae music. How the... It's reggae music. How the hell do you know what the hell he's saying, anyways? That's what I'm saying. No, it's kind I mean, of he might, saying, not, at least he might not even it. be saying that. It's a, it's Ebonics, man. A reggae. That's what I'm saying. It's, 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 it's right more. But I'm saying it, it. That's what I'm saying. You got to when white people are trying to interpret uh, uh, reggae music. That's what's going on. Some goofy English people are trying to. Uh, some goofy. First of all, some goofy English gay people are trying to say what Beanie Man is. First of all, queer means um, beef patty. Uh, <laughs> uh, it means uh, mango. It's all it's it's mango. all different right. kind of oh, shit going really? on with what he's saying, and really? you can't. I'm telling you, and in front you hear Chi Chi. I don't know what Chi Chi means. That's what he said. Chi Chi is gay, and I'm supposed to listen to whatever. He says that you should chase gay DJs out of their butt. Well, right? you should. You should. Why, why you should. shouldn't you chase you should. gay you should. DJs? <laughs> he said kill gay DJs. He didn't say kill uh, the the guys from uh, Queer as Folk. Or he said gay DJs. But why? Why does he want to kill gay DJs? Oh, who knows? Why don't they? Hey, why don't they just say kill Whitey and everybody will be happy? Right, you guys would be happy. Yeah. You would be kill happy. Kill Whitey's fine. You guys are you say say kill Whitey. I don't like it. That's fine. I don't like it. That's a good point. Right. Listen, I don't like the fact that Patrice shit. says, Ooh. Patrice says I don't listen to this kind of music when he listens to the Haitian will. He listens to it all day long and probably dances along to beat him Yeah, my roommate is Haitian, but that, look. <laughs> look, roommate's a Haitian. Look, man. Hey. <laughs> No, what it's a damn Haitian. What I'm saying is, mind your goddamn business, Wait, white people. That's the what I'm saying. What? Mind yeah. your, so you guys mind your gay you white want. business, and yeah. let him, let him attack gay DJ. What? We'll what? be right back. Shut up. <laughs> Again, we're gonna look at some stereotypes that have existed and discuss why they exist. The first one we're gonna talk about is all men cheat. That's a stereotype, Sue. Do you believe that's true? Yes, I do. I think hey. all men cheat. I really? Think they all lie, and I think they cheat. It depends, it depends on what you think cheating is, though. I mean, if you... <laughs> cheating, cheating to you and cheating to us is different. Well, if I get a, <laughs> if I get a b job in a closet, that's not cheating. If I get a b job and then hold her hand on the way out of the closet, that's cheating. But why in the closet? Why is that not cheating? Because that's closet. where you get it in a comedy he's club. A man and he's gay, that's he, why. Yeah, what is that? I know. <laughs> You're it's kind of weird. That's a kind of weird. Different There's emotional cheating and physical cheating. Well, if I emotionally cheat on you, that's cheating if you're my girlfriend. But if I just physically get a hand job somewhere, that's not cheating. Do you even know that's what like emotionally, known to myself. emotionally cheating means? Well, we're, not a, uh, we're not as attached emotionally. That's yeah. why we cheat. Yeah, we are out there cheating. on the outside of your body. That's exactly. Oh, shut up. Why don't you stop being so selfish? Just let <laughs> well, us sleep around a little selfish? bit. Oh, oh, yes, who say, cares? All I said is yes, guys lie and they cheat. Yes, yes we do. So do. what's your point? I didn't but say do you think it's bad or do you think it's just genetic? I don't think people should be together for their whole life. Is it genetic? I don't think. Genetic? No, I think if a guy has a feeling he wants to f someone, that's what no, I no. think. No, no. But don't you feel there's a certain amount of genetic predisposition yes. <laughs> yes. guys always pull around because we, we do no, it. socialized. We do not it at genetic. our own. I think it's, it's not socialized. socialized. Come on. We do it at our own, even with our own damage we do it. We'll still yeah. do it. Yeah. Even yeah, but if that's it destroys self -loathing. things that's that we That's not self-loathing. It's not self-loathing. Yes, self ah, see, that's that vaginal, you're, you're insane. Just take it. Nobody, that's that, that's the vagina, that's the vagina driving you insane. Listen, one day you'll learn how to not be, take your vagina, put it over here, and take your take who you are that 
and put it over there okay, instead because, of wait instead of forcing okay. us to like all of you when you okay. could be a loser and okay. I just want to sleep with you but okay. I don't want the other part that don't make no sense. All right, I'm sorry, Patrice, yeah, you're brother. right. Your brother's wrong. speaking. Shut your trap. Look at her face. Did you see her face? Like, but joking. she knows it's true. Well, it could, no, but. So you didn't know, I thought I didn't, he could be the next Dr. Phil with that kind of compassion. Yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> but here's the point. We're upstairs just now with Liz and Amanda and Beth, you know, producers, women. So I'm up there and we're about to bust Beth's balls on something good. We got her on something good. I'm, I start to slam. Liz and Amanda were there for the beginning of the slam. I lose them because they're looking at a shoe and talking about the shoe. <laughs> now, ladies, that's not fun to that's us. That's how we you like guys get to cheat balls. on us. We're too busy looking at our shoes. That's what happens. What we're just trying to say, is it really, do you have to take it so personally? Yeah. I'm cheating. Saying that I I you cheating. I'm, I'm not cheating said on said you I because I don't love you, Sue. I I'm cheating on you because she has I bigger like boobs. I like sex with men, and I don't mind. <laughs> and I, I like that. Why don't y'all stop forcing us to like you? Who's forcing you to like you me? Always, I have done nothing on the show to force you like me. And you make us like you, or you're gonna, you're gonna threaten to take it away. You have that. We're so terrorizing you, make, you with our vagina. So you make us listen to you. <laughs> you <laughs> enable <laughs> this day you go. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? Keep my doing that. Every, like my alert. No, <laughs> you gotta ignore that. That is the white. Once you learn to ignore that, you'll be on your way to freedom. Are you letting him say that? That's the whitest it's couple nice. I've ever seen in my life. The whitest couple, and you say it like it's a criticism. We were proud to be white. That's right. Stupid. If what I'm white too, shut if up, you're not white. Shut I'm Mexican. <laughs> you're everything. If me and Carlin had a baby, Sue. it would explode from the light in the and delivery that's room, good, right? right? Sue, don't, don't say the N word. Come on, they're Why? still friends. No, go ahead. Get to that. Listen, you catchy idiot. Men, shut up, men. Shut up. You. See, women don't give us sex to prove that we like you. The longer we wait, that means oh, he really likes me. Men, you, we want sex from you because that proves to us that you like us. So if you if you go me in the first date, I'm not going to think you a whore, a whore. I'm going to love you. I'm going to take it's you out. Flattering. I'm going to treat you better than you ever wanted. But if you make me wait, the more you frustrate me. Yes. And then you kill me. Wait, the bottom line is this. What happened was the sexual revolution blew it for women. Before that, have sex, you'd have to get married. Right. And what happened was somehow somebody got them to think, oh, have sex. Who got think? Feminist. Go right hey. back to that. That's what it is. The black people. The black people. That's what it is. They took it all. Okay. <laughs> Folks, Kirstie Alley not only accepts her weight, she hopes to parlay it into big ratings with a new show called Fat Actress. Pitch. No, really, that's what it's called. Pitch a show that focuses on a bad trade of yourself and tell us what it would be called. Keith Robinson. Well, I will pitch two shows. The first will be called Little Bitty Man Titties. <laughs> Boy, I should stop right there. <laughs> the second would be my big, fat, black, obnoxious nose. I should have stopped right there. God damn it. <laughs> the show will be about my struggle to raise enough money to get my nose like Michael Jackson. Uh, oh, you really? That was written. That just showed exactly what. You want to be white like Michael and me. You know, Bobby Kelly. One of my awful traits is that I watch these crappy reality shows and I hate myself for it. My show's called Death of Reality Shows. This, Please this, don't applaud or I'm going to make them pay 20. <laughs> this is a show where we hire eight Navy SEALs are hired, all right? And these guys are hired to kill anybody involved on a reality show. The first, the first episode, don't applaud, I don't get 20 bucks on me. The first show takes place in the set of the fat actress. The Navy SEALs break into the kitchen where all these depressed, fat-filled actresses are crying over a bowl of baked ziti. The SEAL team force feeds them cookie dough ice cream anally. The camera, the camera zooms in and out on their stretch marks and their double chins. The whole time they're humming the theme song to cheers. <laughs> okay, next, Sue Costello. My show will be called The Gullible Slut. Twenty guys and I would live in a house together. The guys who have to think of the best lies to get me into bed. Then the one who gets me the most wins a lifetime pass to cheat on me whenever he wants while I clean the house, remain supportive, and keep my mouth shut. All right. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Patrice O'Neill. Oh, boy. My show is going to focus on the day-to-day -day struggles of a black man living in America who has a flat ass and, and can't freestyle rap. <laughs> I got a flat ass. Uh, it, 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 it was.
will start at the lowest flat butt point of my life when a white guy, Nick DePaul, said, I had the ass of a woman cop. <laughs> And it also follows the difficulty of wearing like saggy hip hop everything by mistake. I don't even suits. I don't want everything to hang off my ass, but sometimes I have no choice. And the fact that I can't get a discount at these stores by pretending to be a rapper because I can't rap. The show is called, you know, thanks, ma. Oh. And <laughs> the season finale has me ask Sue Costello where she's going to have her flat ass surgery. <laughs> Sue has a lovely Irish round ass. We'll be right back. That's the end of the show. Uh, tonight on the show, you said that uh, men are genetically predisposed to cheat. No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> you actually, yeah, you did. Well, I just asked it as a question. I never thought of it before. I like this new men-women show. We should do the whole show like this, men and women fighting. I like it. Could be cool. <laughs> do you actually believe that? Yep. That.